Welcome, Odoors. At our company, Coffee to the Rescue, we offer state-of-the-art snack and coffee vending machines. We also service the machines for customers who encounter any issues. And with that, Odoo Field Service has been a lifesaver. Now, there are a couple of things that you want from a field service application. You want to have a range of possibilities for clients to contact you to request your services. You also want powerful planning tools to organize your workload. And of course, you need the application to be 100% mobile so you can keep track of everything as you're working on site. You also need to be able to easily perform all of your administrative tasks. So tracking your time, filling in your worksheets and customer reports, and generating your invoices. Last but not least, you need to be able to keep track of inventory of any spare parts that you may have used on site during the intervention. Let's handle a field service task together from start to end to see those features in action. All right, so here we are in our database and we're going to go right into field service. And by the way, Jason, are you familiar with our project application? Hey, Susanna, of course I am. I use it all the time. Well, that's great. But for those of you out there who don't know, field service and project are actually strongly intertwined. So if you haven't seen our project tutorials yet, it's a very good idea to check them out and that way you will get the understanding of some basic functionalities. But for now, let's go into our database and we see right away that our tasks are organized by dates. And let's just go ahead and open this one here. And let's say we're going to go ahead and start working on site. So the first thing that we will do is start our timer. That way we can keep track of the time. Um, and whenever we want, we can pause the timer, resume, or we can completely stop. And then if we need to, we log the time and we can always add another one from here. Um, another thing that we see right away is that we can keep track of activities. So we can log notes, send messages, and plan any activities, so to-dos and emails, calls, meetings, and so on. But for now, let's say we keep working on sites. And um, if we at any moment find that we need a spare part or any product that we use for our intervention, we can add it right here from the product catalog. So here in this task, we have seen that the glass pane of the vending machine is broken. So obviously we're going to have to replace it. Here we can see uh, all of our products and we see that we have a large glass pane available. We actually have four of them. So we're going to add it to the task. And we can, whenever we're done with the product catalog, we can go back to our task. And there's a smart button right here showing um, how, however many products we have used. Now, whenever we're done with the actual on-site work, we can also go ahead and fill in the worksheet. Susanna, what's a worksheet? Great question, Jason. A worksheet is a template that allows you to keep track of all of the important details of the work that you did on-site. Odoo allows you to create different types of templates for different appointments. Uh, we'll see more about that in a later video. And for now, we can just fill in this one. So we see right away that we have some fields ready for us. Uh, we obviously have the name of the task. We can fill in the manufacturer of the device that we serviced. We can fill in the serial number in case we want to keep track on that, of that. Uh, we can choose our intervention type. So here I will say this was the technical maintenance. We can type in a description of what we did. So let's say we solved all the problems. Uh, we have a checkbox to confirm that after our work, the device meets all of the requirements. Um, we have the field for the date. And when we're done, we can sign in the worksheet. And that's it. We're done. Now we are completely done with our work on site. So what we can do is ask the customer to sign the report. But Susanna, we already filled in the document. So now we need to create a new document? Don't worry, Jason. Those may seem similar, but they're actually quite different documents. So a worksheet is designed to help you keep track of all of the important technical details of the work that you've done on site. However, the customer report um, is generated automatically and it's a combination of all uh, of the data that you have collected in your task. 
So here we can see that we have the planned dates, the description of the task, the um, time that we spent working on it, as well as the products that we used. Um, and we also have all of the technical information from the worksheet already included. So like I said, the great thing is that you don't need to do any work. You just generate the uh, customer report automatically and you ask your customer to sign. So here, let's say I am the Marmont Consulting. I'm going to sign the report and that's it. Now we can go back to our task. And here you can also see that if you want to, you can send the report to the customer by email. We don't need to do it since we did it in person. Um, and once we're done, we can mark the task as done and we can move forward to invoicing the client. Now, this is something that we're going to see in another video. For now, this is it from my side. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in another one.